positioning between east and west can actually be the game changer for Dubai or not? Or is it marketing? That's, how's that for a challenge? Thank you very much for that opening question. It was uh, like getting jabbed in the face. <laughs> it's like a left hook to get it, it, it's started. It's a great question. It's a great question. Thank you for asking it. I, I don't think that this is the first time I've heard this. Um, we've heard this when His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President, Prime Minister, and Ruler of Dubai, said that you want to become a tourism hub. And everyone says, you're in the desert. You don't have artifacts. You don't have greenery. Why would you become a tourism hub? And today, Dubai and the UAE is one of the biggest tourist destinations on the planet. We've heard that before when His Highness talked about airlines and how we wanted to start an airline. And today, Emirates Airlines is one of the top airlines on the planet, and whoever does fly Emirates would know that it spoils you for other airlines. And we're seeing that also in the logistics industry. When we said that we want to have ports, when we said that we want to go to this sector, today the biggest company that manages ports across 60 countries uh, on the planet is from Dubai. So when we say that we want to actually dominate the field, uh, I think our track record uh, precedes us. And we need to understand as well that this journey did not start with the appointment of the Minister of Artificial Intelligence. So I was lucky enough to be appointed as Minister of AI in the UAE and not some other country because our leadership has been working on this for years. Um, and I'll give you the evidence to back up. In the year 2002, the internet was fairly new, the dot, the dot com bubble has just happened, and there were people talking about uh, banning the internet. So there were people looking at ways to ban the internet. They looked at the negative implications of this technology. Uh, to counter that, what our leadership has done is in the year 2002 say that we want to transform the government from a traditional government to an electronic government. And then 2008 to uh, internet government or a mobile government, and then 2015 to a smart government. When you come and compare where we sit as the UAE compared to other countries, we are far ahead already. We don't have the legacy systems, we already have the track record, and in some instances you're already seeing the success stories in the private sector because of the immediate uh, regulations and policies that are being put in place, because of the amazing, I think, synergy that's being created in the culture here of the society. So because in the Internet City and the uh, media city were put together, today you're able to see platforms that are not available anywhere else across the region, whether it's Kareem, which is an AI company, being acquired by Uber for 11 billion dirhams, whether it's uh, Sook.com being acquired by Amazon for more than 3 billion uh, dirhams. So all of these are just proven evidence that we can lead, and hopefully we will lead in the future. The final point to this question is, we don't want to lead in specific domains where there's controversy. We want to lead in the aspects where AI is going to impact the lives of people positively. So AI in government, AI in human life improvement, in diagnosis of disease, for example, in healthcare, in education. We're not looking at specific use cases that might cause harm across borders. We're not looking at the controversial use 